The Shell House Angels are going for a three-peat this year. The defending champions still have their core players donning the sky blue jersey with Stephen Phillips controlling the offense. Assistant coach Mike Willis said that the team did lose some players as well as gain some players, but stresses that they don't look at who's coming and going, but will always put the best they have for that position and just play hard-nosed football regardless of who's on the team. The Cars Plus Rams are also returning to the league this year. The Rams were last year's runner-up team and have lost Brant McCready. McCready retired from the gridiron and is now playing in the political arena. Brant's replacement is none other than Will Williams, who played in the shadows of Phillips last season and will now have his own offense to run on the rival team. Also returning is the Pepsi Warriors. The Warriors have been building their team since the return of the NFL, and with a solid returning roster, they should be more of a threat this time around. Not returning this season is the Docomo Chargers. With the Chargers now defunct, a new team has emerged, the Limelight Spartans, who is headed by A.J. Kitagua. Kitagua is happy with the group of guys he has adopted from the Chargers along with some new additions, and he says the men are looking forward to their first game which is against the Angels. The Angels and the Spartans will open the season this Saturday, and the Rams and the Warriors will play on Sunday. All games for the MFL is on Saturday and Sunday at 2 in the afternoon at the UOG Field behind the Fieldhouse.